Hi guys and welcome to my guide on setting up weak auras from a fresh character perspective for TBC Classic. Now, depending on how I go about fixing the catastrophe we've just had with the editing of the video on LVI, this may be the first or second video in this series and as a result I'm still looking for feedback on whether you like this sort of as it happens type of guide where I just record it and very basic editing and throw it up or if you prefer the normal style that I've been doing, so let me know down below. But for now, let's dive into it with how to set up weak auras for a fresh character, or maybe you've never even used weak auras before yourself, on a new character. So, first thing you want to do is obviously install the add-on. We're not going to cover that here, most of you probably are to install an add-on by now, I would certainly hope so. So accessing the add-on in-game is going to be the first thing we're going to do and that's going to be done by slash wa in your chat window. And from there, you're going to get this interface and we're going to have two main ways of setting up your weak auras. So we're going to cover both of them in this video and we're going to start with the simple one which is the one that the vast majority of people are going to want to do and we can get it out of the way nice and quick because it's super easy. And that's going to be importing a weak aura that someone else has already designed and made. So first of all, what we're going to do is you're going to see this import button up here. It's as simple as you're going to click on here. You're going to get this box. You're going to get the code that someone else has given you. Copy it in, click done, and it is done. So I'm going to give you an example of that here by going over onto a website that I've already got loaded, which is wago.io which is going to be your one-stop shop for all things Weak Aura. Simply from there, we're going to go into Weak Auras, we're going to click the TBC section, and this is a Druid I'm setting up, so I've already navigated myself to the Druid page, where I'm going to find myself a Weak Aura that could be useful. So, for example, right now I'm just going to pick this one, just because it's something that could be useful to me, and it's a good example for the purposes of this video. So I'm going to click on the Weak Aura that I liked, click on Copy Import String, and it's copied it for me. Gonna go back into game, gonna copy that in with Control V, click import on this little window that pops up, and that's that. Job is a good one, it's all done. The weak aura has been put in, I can close this now, and then look, I'm uncritable at plus 88 defense and plus 57 resilience. Simple as that. Now, if you are not looking to make your own weak auras, you're happy with the ones other people have made, that's all you actually need from this guide. Congratulations, you're all done. Beyond that, if you're looking to make your own, then that is something that's going to have a little bit more involvement, but still not as difficult as a lot of people are going to think. So the biggest problem that you're going to have is simply knowing at any given point what it is that you need a weak aura for. And for this purpose, I would probably say the best thing to do, honestly, is to simply play the game and then while you're playing when you think to yourself oh god i wish i knew x or i uh, let's say for example with this cat form druid i hate when i am in cat form or bear form and i do not know how much mana i have left because it's not displayed on my default ui that's something that i can very easily make a weak aura for that is going to track for me what my mana bar is when i am in any other form and as a result that's something that I'm going to show you how to do now. Now, I have made guides on this before, which are going to go into more depth than what I'm going to do today with regards to how to go about making weak horrors, and I'll link them down in the description below. But we are going to have a look as well at how to do it in this video. So the first thing we're going to want to do is we've established I'm going to want a mana bar. Now, that's all I'm going to want. So when we look at how we're going to set up our new weak aura, we're going to click new aura. And then it's going to give us a few options. Now, we've already covered importing and you can simply use a template, which is basically just going to give you a sort of beginner's guide to weak auras where it walks you through the process. And that is probably the best way to do it if it's the first one you're ever making. Otherwise, you can pick one of these options for a basic start point for your weak aura. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click progress bar because that's going to give me a bar of this nature which I think is the most appropriate for tracking my mana. Now, from there, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get this window pop up. And this window is going to be everything that I'm going to need to configure to set up my weak aura. So the first thing I'm going to want to do is I'm going to name it. So I'm going to name it mana in form. So that when I'm in form, it gives me my 
display that I would like so. Moving on to this big, rather scary looking window. And the only three things when you're going into a beginner's guide, like what this is meant to be for, what you're going to actually want to care about is going to be your display, your trigger, and your load. If you get those three things down, then everything else is incredibly simple. So the first thing that we're going to look at is trigger. Now, the trigger is going to be the information that is both what's going to be displayed to you as well as what's going to cause it to be displayed. By that I mean that this is what needs to be active in order for the actual weak aura to be displayed on the screen. So if for example I was tracking a buff, I would put in the information for the buff and it would only display the weak aura when that buff was present. Or inversely, if I set it up as to do so, only when it wasn't present. But for now, we're going to take a look at mana. So the mana section, admittedly, this is a very difficult menu to navigate, but what you will get the hang of eventually is where you find everything. And what I'm going to look for, look for is player and unit info. And then I'm going to want to change this from health to be power. Now, my power type is going to be mana. And there we go. That's technically job done. All I'd have to do now is position this weak aura as and where I would like it to be and then make any changes from this. So now technically this is done. This now displays a bar in the center of my screen where I want it that shows my mana. It's got some stuff I don't like which is something we're going to refine but that's it technically done. We've got 3334 mana. If I quickly power shift, ignore this, that's uh, another broken item that we'll fix in a minute. But as I'm power shifting, you can see that my mana is going down. And this bar, as my mana returns, will start to fill up. Now, a few things that I don't like about this is I don't like that the bar is red. So if we go back into our weak aura, now we change our display. The display is the next section we're going to cover after we've sorted out our triggers. Once you've got your triggers done, everything's mostly done. From there, all you're going to want to do is things that refine it to your taste. So I'm going to give a nice rich blue color to my mana bar because mana, as we all know, is blue. And then all I'm going to do from there is I think I'm going to make this a little bit wider of a bar so I can see the more finer details within it. And then I'm going to take a quick look at how that looks. Yep, that's fantastic. That's exactly what I want that to do. Now... It does get a little bit more complicated than that when it comes to making your your weak horrors, but that is of course a very basic rundown and I am planning a much more in-depth guide on how to make your weak horrors with regards to some complexities and really complicated weak horrors in the future so keep an eye out for that if that's something you're interested in. But for now we're going to take a look at the final thing that we mentioned which is going to be our load quality. Now load is really simple. It's basically when your weak aura will even think about showing itself so if the trigger is what needs to be met load is as and when it's even going to look for a trigger so for example this issue that i've made this example weak aura for is, is druid specific so i'm going to set my load to be on player class and load only when i am on a druid so then if i close this now you can see that my bar is still there because of course I'm still on a druid so it is loaded. But if I go back in and I change it to only load on a paladin, not that I would need it, and close off this menu, it's gone because I'm not on a paladin. Very simple, very straightforward. It's not a complicated task to set up weak auras in general. It's really much more about isolating what problems that you are going to have and then coming up with a solution for them. Now, to that end, we're going to end this video on the final point, which is what you are going to want to look for in these weak auras when you are setting them up. Obviously, we've established how you go about setting them up, but what is it you're going to want to set up? Now, I have got quite a few videos that already cover this topic, but there are a few things that you are going to want to consider when setting up your weak auras in regards to what you are going to want there. The first thing is going to be you are probably going to want a heads up display for your class. I think these are incredibly valuable 
and what they're going to do is provide you a detailed amount of information with regards to how your class is going to function, be it the cooldowns of short-term cooldowns, power bars, combo point trackers, things of that nature. Pretty much an all-in-one condensed UI in a centralized form for your setup. So that's something that we're going to go and look for now. And we're going to get this one because it's the first one I saw for the sake of this video. So we're going to do like we did before and import this in. And then once it's taken a moment to sort itself out, there we go. That is job done. Weakora is not a particularly difficult task to import them. It's simply just being able to track what it is that you want and what it is that you need for your weak that really makes this a difficult task. So now that we've got my mana bar here and we have an all in one that someone else has kind of designed for us, then that is that part set up. Now that's going to do it for that character in terms of what it needs, but there's also weak that meet the demands of your environment, which is something that you might want to look into as well. If you plan on running a lot of dungeons, for example, there are weak cores that tell you what mechanics are going to take place in certain dungeons and as a result they might be something that's interesting to you as well or perhaps you are a pvp -er or you want to track your reputations in a nice little ui there are weak horrors that cover pretty much everything that you could possibly want so meeting the needs that you have is not going to be a difficulty you are probably not going to have to make your own weak horrors but there is definitely going to be the potential for that to be there, which is why I've covered it in this video. But chances are you're going to find on Wago what it is that you want. If not, something that's worth considering is that the vast majority of weak auras, if not all weak auras that you get, even ones that are imported, still meet all of the same requirements that we've looked at before with regards to the triggers, the groups and the load criteria. And as a result, if there's something about them that you don't like, say, for example, if we have a look here and we find our tranquility, there's nothing stopping me simply deleting the tranquility aspect of this weak aura and then closing this down and it's gone. There's nothing stopping me editing these weak auras to fit my needs. So if you've got someone who's done 90% of the work for you, don't be afraid to get their weak aura imported and then tweak it to your preference from there. But for now, guys, I think that's going to about cover it for a week or a setup. If there's any questions you have or any feedback on this video, then please do let me know down below. And like I've said, if I am planning on doing a much more detailed and in-depth guide on the setup of specifics for week or us. So if that's something you're interested in, let me know down below. And I hope to see you in the next one. Later.